So you'll find a comfortable seat or you'll recline. Your eyes close. You turn toward the center of your heart, that cave of the heart. And then you see if you can allow more room to breathe. And particularly right now, that focus is on what is the quality of my breath like? Is there a texture? And in my sensing body, can I hone in on feeling of clothing touching skin or feet or sit bones touching mat? If there's any residual sound, it's just sound, it's not listening. thought, taste, scent. We use our senses to hone in on the present moment. And it's a brief meditation. It is a conscious pause. So if you happen to be reclined, change your pose and join us seated. If you're seated, Get a little taller and a little wider through your collarbones, taller through the spine. Bring your hands to your heart center in prayer and pick an intention for the practice. Mantra, dedication, motivation. And then take a deep breath in, exhale it all out. Inhale. Oh. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Let's reach our arms really wide. So we're going to start with our arms really wide. And then you will take your right elbow under your left. Okay, right elbow under left, vining your arms. If they cannot vine, your hands can be in prayer. Now we're going to twist to our right. I'm mirroring you for now. Inhale, center. I don't know about your body. Exhale, twist to the left, but right away I feel a little resistance in mine. Inhale, center. Keep the arms as they are. Side bend over to your right. Anchor your left sit bone. And then inhale, come up. Side bend over to your left. Anchor your right sit bone. Head back. My head was poking forward. Inhale, come up through center. Reach your arms wide. Stretch them, take your right hand to the floor, reach over, all the way over. And then relax the right shoulder, inhale, come up. I just got a nice adjustment through my spine. I hope you get one too. And side bend over, softness through the left shoulder, chest rising. Inhale, come up, reach the arms wide. Now you know what's coming. Take the left elbow under the right, twist to the left first. Yeah, relax your shoulders. Inhale, I can feel the resistance, just so you all know, in my ribs, in those intercostals as I twist the other way. And I'm not worried about it because it's early. Come through the center, side bend left. Inhale up, windshield wipe, side bend right. Inhale up, sweep the arms wide, side bend over to your left first. This time, remember, rinse the shoulders down, which really means engage the side body. 
And then inhale, come up and go the other way. Come up through center, fold your elbows, whatever forearm is closest to you, just note it. Inhale, lift your chest, pump your chest up. Exhale, round, scoop, navel to spine. Two more, inhale, kind of hydrating the spinal range, and then exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. So these are like our cat cows. Yes, you could be in cat cow instead if you're not loving this. Come through center, right hand to the heart, left hand out to the side, and then we do nine taps to the center, okay? And as we're doing the tap, we're really waking up sternum, Heartbeat is always happening right here, right now. Last two and one, and then reach up, fold the other forearm closest. It'll feel like the four in one. Inhale, lift chest, lift chest. Exhale, this time we're gonna bow. See if you can take those forearms to the floor. And then inhale, arch and come up. We may see this again in the practice, maybe, who knows. Exhale, scoop and bow. We know that nervous system gets pacified, inhale, when we bow, right? That's why in so many cultures, when they pray, they bring their chin to their chest and bow. And then inhale, come up, reach the arms wide, tap the heart. We have nine more again. You're right here. You're just letting it happen. Whatever's happening for you, I have no idea. I'm feeling like I'm getting into the spring of the trunk and the accordion there. That's what I like to call it. Last full round, good and then come up onto your knees. So if you are cross-legged, come up to standing on your knees, take your arms wide, take your right arm down to your side. Now it's not gonna touch the floor unless you have really long arms. Just push into your outer thigh, roll your right ribs forward, pelvis forward so it feels like you're really working the belly as well. Inhale, come up, left arm down. Relax that shoulder. Inhale, come up, twist to your right, center, left, center, arms up, dive forward all the way forward like you're falling forward and come into uh, child's pose or down dog. If you want to hit your playlist now, you can. I think I can let a little more light in where it won't stream too hard. Okay, so play, hit your playlist now. Let's. Begin where we are, start where we are, use what we have and let's start moving. So your child's pose all fours, if there was a little nook or a little cranny that we didn't get into in the waistline, if there's something you need to get into, I'll give you five more rounds of breath or you get right into it and you go into down dog. Mm, so lucky that our body moves, that we have this capability. When you're ready in a breath or two and you get into bound, down dog, I almost said it backwards, when you get into down dog, start to close your eyes. Scan your body inside. Is there an area that's overworking? Is there an area that's underworking? And then when you open your eyes inside your matrix, your blueprint, can you use your breath to clear your house? Inhale, glide forward, plank. Exhale, dog. Two more, inhale, plank, strong legs. Exhale, dog. One more time, inhale, ripple forward, plank. Exhale, dog. Walk your feet to your hands. Now you can take as many or as few steps here and then just start to fold forward. Let your body feel as if you're allowing the spinal line to waterfall. I'm gonna bend my knees, you can bend your knees. Walk to the right and the left. So now we're adding twisting into forward folding. And hopefully you're just drenching your body with breath. That's the way I look at it. The so and the hum of the breath. 
I already can feel my mind changing. Bring the hands to your shins. I closed my eyes a little too prematurely. And then exhale, fold, bring your hands to your calves, squeeze your elbows towards each other. Inhale, come all the way up, all the way up. Little or big back bend. If you want a bigger back bend, I suggest bending your elbows, lifting your chest. Yeah. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Let's shoulder today. Let's shoulder only our head, our atlas, our world. Inhale, lift your chest. Take your right leg back, lower your right knee down, the top of the right foot. Inhale, your arms come up. Let your pelvis descend down and forward, okay? Yep. And then exhale, bring your hands to frame that. Left foot, mostly straighten it. Steer the left outer hip back so you can see I'm steering it back. At least I hope you can. And then bend that left knee. Take the left hand to the hip or skyward and twist. Twist and breathe. Breathe and twist. Reach that right arm over, I mean left arm over, excuse me. And then place the left hand outside the left foot, come into the plank. Okay, so we're gonna do something we've had as part of our theme. It's called down for 10. So you go down slow. If you need to put your knees down, that's fine. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep those collarbones wide. Five, four, three, two, one. The good news is we don't have to go back up. <laughs> Take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders up to your ears, up toward the ceiling, and then down toward your arms and lift your arms if it can. If it can't happen, keep your hands on your bottom, lift your legs. Lift your legs if your low back feels safe enough. That means tether your navel, lift a little higher through your legs, toning, 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 and then gently release. Hands under shoulders now, pin elbows. Inhale, prime that spine with a low cobra. Exhale, release. Two more, just like that, okay? Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Push back through child's pose. So we have that common language, right? common language you have child's pose you can take it at any time any time and then downward facing dog Let's see if i can help with this good pedal those feet charge your body with your breath and have long lines of energy inhale lift your right leg up toward the ceiling Bend your right knee. Let's do three circles out, down, and around with that right thigh. They do not need to be big, just fluid. And then go the other way. Then elevate, rise the right leg. Right knee, right elbow. And up. Right knee, left elbow. And up. Knee to the chin, the chest, the nose. Step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward. Hands on your shins, inhale. Hands to your calves, bend. Squeeze elbows toward the midline. Inhale, come all the way up. Lift all the way up. You want a little or a big back bend. Bend those elbows as if to puff your chest. Chin rises. Inhale, reach. Flush and fold. Lengthen. Left leg back, left knee down, top of foot down, pelvis descends, inhale the arms up. Lucky you, you're breathing, hands down. Mostly straighten the right leg, steer that right outer hip back. I am right here, breathing right here. Bend the right knee, right hand to the hip or all the way up. I have softness in my left elbow and feeling of breathing. This time I do mean right arm over, so reach your right arm over. Right hand outside your right foot, plank pose. We're just gonna do one more of those decelerating chaturangas. So you slow 10, you slow nine, you slow eight, seven, six, five stronger legs, four, three, 
two, one. Beautiful. Roll thigh bones in. Take the hands behind you. Switch so it's non-habitual clasp of weaving fingers. And then as you lift, lengthen the skin on the back of the neck and then lift the legs if it's possible and arms. Remember, this is a practice that is sustainable and not goal oriented. It means you show up without result and then release. You show up so that you yield the huge benefit. Inhale, peel and lift, wide collarbones. Exhale, release. And the benefit may not be something tangible. You can't touch it, you can feel it. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, come down. One more, my friends. Inhale, inhale, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, release. Push back through child's pose. Yet again, just giving yourself the humble bow, the pacifying, the I am, and down dog. Now, wherever you are in down dog, start to feel like how could you move more water in your body? How could you get more adjustments from the foot to the ankle? from the ankle to the knee, to the pelvis. And that's our bony rhythm. And we want to enhance our bony rhythm. Lift your left leg, bend your left knee, circle the left thigh out, down and around. Now, whether your right heel is elevated or yearning for the mat, that's your choice. Circle the other way. Rise that left leg, left knee, left elbow, skyward, left knee, right elbow, up, the chin, the chest, the nose, step the foot forward, launch the back foot forward, place the hands on the shins, lengthen, bring the hands to the calves, merge the midline, and then sit into the bent knees, Utkatasana. So you noticed we opened up through our chest and our pecs, but we did not do a breathing exercise. So let's bend our elbows. And we're gonna start with Kapalabhati, sharp, short breath, go. Exhale everything out. Take your hands, your tallest finger, touch the floor. Touch the floor. So now your tallest fingers touching the floor. You might be more forward than you want to be. So sit a little bit back and now keep your knees bent. Rise your arms up. Take your tallest finger to the floor. Two more. Rise your arms up. Squeeze those inner thighs. Hopefully it feels a little bit like a wall sit. Not to failure, but almost in those legs. Uh, that's how we change. Now, let's see. Could you touch? Okay, guess what? I was three inches, I bob that high. So let's just do one more and see if we don't bob. Stay low. Ooh, I can feel my quads. <laughs> Inhale, spring up, rinse it. Exhale, fold. Okay, heels in, toes out, hands forward, lean forward, rise the heels, bend the knees. This is that frog, my heels are up. We haven't done this in a while. Most of you haven't anyway. Some of you maybe saw it some point, you inhale mostly straight and it's a frog, exhale bend, because now we're recruiting the posterior chain. Go, inhale, you can go fast or slow, exhale. I am squeezing my heels, my friends, as if they are so magnetically attracted. We're four in, we have a handful more. Yep, last four, we're only doing nine, which to me is like, very elementary. Yeah, last two and one. Now our legs are waking up. Okay, now bring your arms outside, squeeze your knees, bring your toes to touch and come back into Utkatasana. Are you feeling those legs? I am, arms down by your sides. Now we do the breath of happiness. If you don't know it, you watch the first one. Those of you who know it, inhale, arms up, inhale, inhale. Open your mouth, three part inhale, sniff, 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 exhale, sniff, 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 keep going. Ungrip your toes if you wanna un up the ante. Yep, keep going, in, 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 out. Last two, in, 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 out. Final one, in, in, 
in, exhale, inhale, spring up, exhale, fold forward and down, ah, it feels nice, inhale, lengthen, now if you feel ready to hop to chaturanga, feel free, if not, step back, take yogi push up, the arms are ready, inhale, low cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog, lift the right leg and simply step it forward, the right foot, left leg in its own lane, inhale, come up through center, since we're bending our elbows and we're in that chest space, let's do it, inhale, straight and strong, exhale, just bend the elbows in the right knee, inhale, cast a breath, exhale, one more time, in and out, now, take your left elbow under your right, we saw this earlier, but not like this, inhale, arch your spine, exhale, round, inhale, arch, Round, last one, arch, round. Come through center, release your arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Uh-huh, you got this. Left hand floor, right hand hip or ceiling. Yes, the left knee could be down. Shrink the shoulders away from the ears. That means recruit your side body. Reach the right arm over. Right hand outside right foot, mostly straighten right leg. Outer cuff of right hip glides back. Chin toward chest or chin toward shin. Bend right knee, we're gonna fire up the back of the right leg. So the right knee stays bent, the left knee comes forward, you pod your body if you have to see it. And then when the left leg goes back, you look forward. Two more, exhale, scoop, inhale, elongate. Exhale, scoop, inhale, elongate. Right leg back, child's pose or vinyasa. We are hydrating our whole dura matter. All of the breath is going in this concentrated way in and in this concentrated way out. Updating and elevating our agreement with our nervous system. And I don't know about yours, but mine has been taxed for sure. Breathe. Wonderful, lift your left leg, nothing fancy. Step it forward. Hands into that cactus. And then move to breathe and breathe to move. Keep going in. That's where the answers are, out. In, that's where the questions are, out. Now here comes balance, right elbow under left. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Whoa, have better balance than me today. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale into extension. In and exhale, flexion. Spring of spine up, right arm forward, left arm back, strong, right arm down, left hand up or to the hip. And again, if those shoulders are creeping up, relax them. If you're not sure, the best answer is tense them and then relax. That's how you find out. Reach over, spin left ribs away from left thigh. Left hand outside, left foot. We have one, two, three breaths in this pyramid. And again, as you peel the left outer hip back, you pour the breath through the body. My back heel is off the mat and my right leg is in its own lane. Bend the left knee. And now here comes some more of that hydration of spine. Exhale, curl as the right knee comes forward. Inhale, look, two more. Vinyasa. So we do our best not to make it any more complicated than it is. And sometimes that looks like refinement. Lift your right leg. Right knee, right elbow, exhale, and up. Two more, just like that. Right knee, right elbow, and up. Right knee, right elbow. Step right foot outside, right hand. This is the wide twist. 
and just give yourself room to breathe, reach the right arm up. I find this helps decongest the pelvis. Right hand down, vinyasa down dog child. When we hold tension in our face, in our jaw, in our skull, in our brain, it trickles down the spine. We know ultimately everything in the body connects. Lift the left leg, left knee, left elbow. Repeat. Knee to elbow. Quietly step, hand outside, twist. It's a rinsing of sorts, a releasing. Hand down, vinyasa. Maybe you're shaking, good for you. Plank pose, onto the right forearm. I move my right hand into the left lane, reach the left arm up. Now at first, lift your hips, okay? Lift your hips, streamline front and back body, and then take the left hand behind your head. Now you can stay right here or tap left elbow and then rise. Two more, tap, rise. One more, tap, rise. The transition will be a forearm plank for two breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Roll over the other side. Hands on the left is in the right lane. You're on your forearm. Stack hips, funnel ribs in front and back body. Right hand behind head. Tap and rise. So now we're twisting here. Tap and rise. One more. Tap. Come back onto the forearm. Give yourself a moment to breathe in and out. Exhale, lower the knees, thighs, pubic bone. Point your feet, tether your navel, lift for a low cobra. I mean, sorry, a low sphinx, a medium sphinx, or a high sphinx. No tension in your neck, right? No tension in your low back. If I asked you to ohm right now, or to putter your lips. Both of those would happen with ease, yeah. If they would not, something is overdoing. Release down, push back, plank in reverse or child's pose, that's up to you. I'm choosing child's pose. My shoulder girdle is awakening. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat to bend your knees for Utkatasana. Feet can be together, yeah? Or you can take that distance that you like apart. Sweep the arms up, pull the hands to prayer. Take your left elbow outside your right thigh. I am mirroring you so you know it's not my left side, but it looks like it is. Now, when you look to your right, slide your left knee back. So beautiful here, take your sit bones back. And then we go into Ardha Utkatasana. Lead with your right thumb, interlace your fingers, come forward, stretch the palms of your hands. Uh, soft face. Inhale, spring up. Exhale, rinse forward. You're still at the back of the mat, fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana with hands at heart center in prayer. I take refuge in this practice and take your right elbow outside your left thigh. Right knee goes back, beautiful. Feel that rotation happening through the low belly. And this time when you come into Ardha Utkatasana, left thumb forward, okay? So left thumb wraps, hands wrap, palms forward, shrink shoulders away from yours. I keep using that cue because that gives your neck space. Lift through the chest and then inhale, spring up. Exhale, swan dive forward. You're at the back of your mat and climb forward. Enhance with a vinyasa. Be still if you are feeling the potency of the practice and you don't need the vinyasa. 
just grateful to be here. That's how I feel. Just grateful to be here. Step the right foot forward, left heel in, warrior one. Three options for warrior one, hands on hips, arms where you want them, or left elbow under right. You knew that was coming, yeah? That was an option because we're right here threading this. Sit into the right thigh, move your elbows a little more right. Oh, hello. Uh-huh, breathe, breathe. Outer seam of both feet sealed. Core from the arches of the feet lifted. Lifted, friends. Uh-huh. Now the best part might be rinse, release, take the hands behind you, weave with the right thumb, knuckles down the back of the left leg. Come on, be sprite and bright in the chest and the chin. And then bow, bow forward. What am I willing today to release? I have felt myself triggered, tense, not as patient. So I'm willing to release that. I'm willing to release that. Sit a little deeper into the right thigh and steer that right outer hip back. Take both hands to the floor. Transition through plank and then roll onto the left hand. Aha, uh -huh. the left forearm, the left knee. The right foot could be in front of, behind or stack and reach up with that right arm. Now, if you want, you could take the right arm to the right. I do mean right. So you open the right side of your chest. Aha. Uh -huh. Some of us slump during this season. Take the right hand down, move through a vinyasa. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Waves of breath, waves of breath. May I begin again with more compassion and patience. Left leg can lift and step or simply step. It's your choice. Right heel in, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. You know, hands, hips, whatever expression you want or right elbow under left, yeah? And when that happens, sit into the left thigh and bring the elbows a little left. I can feel that through the inseam of my back leg. The inseam, lift the arches. Don't let those arches collapse. It's where our core begins. A little more buoyant in the chest, not in the shoulder girdle. And then the hands come and unravel, unwind. Left thumb leads, knuckles down the back of the right leg, right in the heart space, humbly bowing, head to heart, head to heart. Smooth, deep. Outer left hip back. Let whatever it is release. Untangle. Hands down. Plank is the transition onto the right hand, the right form, the right knee. Left foot stacking in front of, behind, and then left arm opening chest. Back dealt. Recruiting significant muscle, muscular energy on that right side. Left hand over and down. You choose Chaturanga, Child's Vinyasa. Really getting the body warm. This is the work. Now the hands only have to go halfway back and the feet only have to go halfway up. And you're right in that space of taking two fists in between the big toes. Yep, that's happening. Index middle finger around big toes. Let the feet are like an 11, not an A or a V. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Hike shoulders up. That means neck turtles out of the shoulder girdle. Pull elbows away from each other. And in this activation, can you be willing to fall and fail forward? Fall and fail forward. Mm -hmm. This is the work and the practice. Good, inhale, lift your chest. You're in the middle of your mat, take your feet as wide as the mat and sit into the malasan, classic way. Now you don't have to do the satnam squats. You can go and do two vinyasas. We're just doing a rapid round. 
So it could look, feel like Satnam, Satnam. It could look, feel like Satnam, Satnam. It could look, feel like Satnam. You just go, you decide Satnam. I've been into this little Satnam, medium Satnam, and then going for big. And I feel like up to the tiptoes. And then I begin again, little and medium. You can go any way you want and big. It's just Sat and Nam. It's just Sat and Nam. It's just, I am. It's just where in my body can I create more awareness of my gripping? Last three and two and one down. If you'd like to come into Bakasana in the middle of your mat, your hands come down exactly as they would in down dog. You don't turn them in or out. That's the hack is to have them in down dog and then wedge your knees up into your armpits or on your triceps. And you just stay here. You could stay right here with the hands and the big toes touching, or maybe you lift one foot and then lower it. Maybe you lift two feet. Maybe you land on your head. I don't know. I don't know. And then slowly down, hands forward, vinyasa or child. What is the risk worth refueling for? Right foot steps, left heel in warrior two. Heel to heel, heel to arch. When we track this shoulder girdle above pelvis, we have a moment to align our arms. Now your arms can stay horizontal or as you sit into the right thigh, you can reach the right arm up, bend the right elbow, take the left hand to the elbow point and give it a nudge, then sit and then lean back. This will give you, oh yeah, here it is, side bend and tricep. That's all I can say, side bend, tricep, hello. Head back, head back. In the right thigh, inhale up through warrior two, up through warrior two, right forearm to thigh, left hand to the hip, up, over with the left arm or behind, Utita Parjva Konasan, extended side angle. Spin, breathe, breathe, spin. The leg is ready for this, it really is. Sit a little deeper into the right thigh. Spin those left ribs, ribs, excuse me, skyward. Inhale up through warrior two. Straighten your right leg. If your stance needs to shore up, shorten it. If not, slurp right thigh without disjoining and locking right knee and then lengthen and take that arm over on the left. Over as in toward ceiling, bicep grazing ear. If you want the right arm, to come under and you'd like to wrap. That's how I like to do it. But if you want both arms, you can do that. Just find a way where your knee on the bottom, it doesn't feel disjointed. Liberation is the way here. So um, satnam. relax those shoulders, engage the side body. Come up through warrior two. Straighten the right leg, turn the right foot parallel to the left. So now align your toes, bring your hands to your hips to navigate the water in the pelvis forward. Lift your chest and chin, and then fold forward and down. Feel as if you're cascading, pouring the body with water, the water through the body, hands down. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, fold. Again, hike those shoulders, lean in. Let's see what it looks like. You guys got this. Come on, I'll give you a little more light here. More breath, let me see you lean in. Yeah, lengthen your spine, lengthen your spine. Uh-huh, a little bend in the knees will make your spine straighter for some of you. Ah, that's it, good. A little bend, That those look great. Really beautiful. And then inhale, lift your chest. Take your left hand under your face and your right hand to your hip or toward the ceiling. I want you to look right. And then if it bothers your neck, look down. Yeah. Then those of you who are sloped in your hips, put more weight in your left outer foot. It seems counter, but left outer foot. I can feel it really in the midline.
Now take both hands to your right ankle. Right hand on the outside of the ankle, left hand on the inside, fold. Bow, breathe and bow, bow and breathe. Good. Pivot on your right heel and your left toes. Now I have each leg in their own lane. I'm in the low, well, I guess it's a medium lunge because my back knee's not down. Three options. One, stay here for three breaths. Two, jump switch. Three, an immediate vinyasa. I jump switch three times and then I vinyasa. Step your left foot forward, right heel in, warrior two. I'm just reorienting myself. Okay, so it's still my left side. I'm not mirroring you, shoulder girdle, pelvis. Heel to heel, heel to arch, level arms. This is beautiful. You want to add on. Left arm up, bend. Right hand grabs elbow. Then sit, side bend. Side bend back with a very bright sense around the heart and your pelvis navigating a little toward that open side of the mat that it's facing. Just so there's no clogged sense. That's the only way I can explain it. Like you're pulling out of your left waist. Inhale up, left forearm to thigh, right hand hip. You could definitely bind, right hand can go straight up, over. Maybe you wrap behind as the left arm comes on the inside. The full treat here is, can you lean a little bit more into the back body? A little more into the back body. Why do I say this? We want to cultivate a practice that eliminates slumping asana. And that's the texting, that's the driving, that's the typing, that's the kind of slumping over something. Inhale, come up, mostly straighten, distance wider or narrower, heel to heel, heel to arch, extended into Uttita Trikonasana. Now, if this is your trickier side, which sometimes it is, this is my trickier side, never was my whole life till these last couple months, I just, Bear with it and I let go of the expectation that this is forever because the yoga practice is teaching me cultivate a great relationship with change and impermanence. That is the only certainty. Bend the left knee to transition up. Hands on hips, turn left foot parallel to right, toes in, heels out. This time as the pelvis goes forward, take a big reach of your arms, big reach of your arms all the way up, lift your chest, look up, look up and then fold, grabbing index middle finger around big toes like we did in that closer forward fold or grabbing heels with outer fingertips. Again, there's a moment where you inhale and you lengthen and then there's a moment where you exhale and you bow. Whatever moment is happening for you right now, breathe. Breathe. Totally drenched in breath. Right hand under face. Left hand to hip or up toward the ceiling. Again, when the right hip navigates down, and I'm exaggerating it, but if that happens for you, lift it up. Lift it up by pushing into the outer seam of the right foot and then spin, spin, spin. Amazing, both hands to the left foot and lean forward. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, my friends. Pivot on the left heel and the right toes, okay? Right here, you have a decision to make. Stay still, vinyasa or jump switch. And sometimes I find the jump switch helps my legs rinse out and sometimes I skip it. It's up to you. Exhale all your breath out. 
finally jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. When you get all the way up, your right elbow under your left. If you can't, find your arms, hands are in prayer. Okay, sit into Utkatasana legs. If this is where you stay, this is where you stay. If you wanna come onto your right tiptoe, go ahead. If you wanna wrap around, knees to the right, elbows to the left, okay? Eagle, eagle pose. Not easy, not easy. You're doing a great job. Who cares if you fall out? No judgment, quit judging. Okay, there's more. Listen, lift the right knee to your nose and then take your right leg back. You got it, take it back, okay? Take your right leg back. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take my right leg back too. Take your right leg back. Now listen, land your right leg about a leg distance so it goes back. Now, unravel your arms, unravel them. Move your right leg into its own lane. Take your hands behind you and take hidden prayer. If hidden prayer is not your jam, put your hands on your hips and squeeze your elbows. Inhale, lift and flourish that heart space. We're going from compression, expansion, and then go fold. Contraction, twisting to this. Okay, so fold. Hands can be on hips or in hidden prayer. Now hidden prayer, friends, squeeze your elbows up toward the ceiling. Steer your left outer hip back, chin toward chin or forehead toward knee. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Inhale, halfway up. We are not done yet. Bend the left knee, bend the left knee. Lift the right leg up. See if you can be in hidden prayer flight and then land the right foot, knees are bent. Come up, reach your arms up. Pull your hands to your heart center in prayer. Whew, that was a light, a lot. I got a little lightheaded oxygen cocktail. Sweep the arms up, left elbow under right. Can't do that, no big deal, hands in prayer, sit. Stay here, you want more, tiptoe of left foot, you want more, sit a little deeper, wrap. You can wrap on this side or you can't. Who knows? Twisty tie. Knees left, elbows right. Twisty tie. Breathe. Have a great sense of humor about it. Does not matter if you fall out. When your left knee comes to your chest, like now, I'm going to turn because I'm doing the other side. Then you float it back. And in floating it back, you're in a half airplane, half eagle. Transition. Land, not knowing what's behind you. Step that leg back, come up through center, unravel the arms down, and then they come up. There's a whole revolution there. And then they go back down, hands behind you, hidden prayer or hands on hips. Tether that navel so your back feels supported. Take the stance, you can futz with it now. Inhale, lift your chest, move your elbows if you're in prayer, back, back of mat, come forward and down. Little bend in the right knee goes a long way. It allows you skillful, refined action. We all want that. We all want that. Beautiful. Inhale halfway up. Bend, bend, bend that right knee. You come off the left toes and then you take hidden prayer plane. Hidden prayer plane. And then you land the foot. Inhale, sweep the arms up from bent knees. Exhale, hands through heart center, fold. Top of your mat, somehow I got in the middle of mine. Inhale, lengthen, chaturanga. Took us a long time to get here, up dog. Dog. Your knees, stand on your knees. Stand on your knees, okay. I'm just gonna face you. Hands on your hips, pelvis forward. Right leg out to the right. You can go in the middle of your mat if you if you want. I, I am just this way. Right leg out to the right. Hands up. Take your left arm to the floor. Right hand can go straight up or to the hip. Yes, it's happening. Lift, lift, lift your right leg. Then if you want to, you can put your right hand on your right hip. Bring your right leg forward and back. Okay, pelvis is steady. Forward, back. One more, 
forward, back, come through the center, lower the right leg, come up and then go over. Oh yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Now I know what's about to happen, okay? I'm gonna um, go forward as if my mat was in front of me. So this will be the benefit of you having your mat in front of you. Reach your right, excuse me, your left arm across and then forward and down and reach your right arm down and take your right leg back behind you, okay? So right leg goes behind you, yeah? And lift your left arm. And now we tap three times, yeah. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more time, exhale, inhale. Now bend your right knee, take your left hand to your left hip or you got it, reach it and look to the left. Look to the left, twist, twist, kick up, squeeze. Lift your chest, lift your chest. Okay, unravel, extend the left arm and the right leg. Come out, release the left arm and the right chin bones. If you need a child's pose, take it. Otherwise come right to st directly to standing on your shins. Sometimes you'll get a calf cramp, some kind of cramp, I don't know. Now we take our left leg to the left. I'm doing it backwards. So reach your arms wide. Right arm down, left hand hip or up, lift. Now we're fine tuning, push through the top of the right foot, bring the left foot forward and back. Keep it lifted, forward and back. These are those small muscles, forward, this is hard for me, and back, mm -hmm. come through the center, lower it down. It, it is the left leg, reach up and then over. Roll those left ribs forward. Mm -hmm. Now we'll see if I can articulate better on this side. The right arm, it's reaching left until it reaches all the way around. You can tell I wasn't a choreographer. Then once the left hand lands, the right hand lands, mm -hmm, and then you take the left leg back. Yeah, it's the left leg you're on right now and then the right arm comes forward. Okay, tap and reach. Tap, exhale and reach, there's that flexion, exhale, inhale, extension. We've been doing that the whole time. Bend the left knee, right hand to hip, look right, grab foot if possible, squeeze. Tether navel, tether navel, squeeze through the midline. Let's see it, more breath, you got this. Open that side of the chest, okay? Uh-huh, even if you have to look down, we are in the home stretch, I promise. Then slowly release out of there. Stand on your knees, or if you need, my friends, take a child's pose. So now I'm gonna come on my side, stand on your knees, grab your bottom, squeeze your elbows, tether your navels, pelvis forward. So no dumping in the back and no thrusting. Somewhere right in the middle, inhale, lift your chest and chin. You can just stay right here, squeeze those elbows. You are really primed for this, or you can grab your heels. This is a different way to access opening chest, heart, space, open, pelvis, forward, ripple. I bet you feel pretty open, I know I do. Let the head release, pelvis forward, stay longer if you can. If you cannot, get out of there, get out of there. If not, stay in it, stay in it. And then come up, out, sit down. There will be a wonderful aftertaste. Whew. That aftertaste will either be an inspiration for another one, or if there's kidney, adrenal, oh, something's going on, something's going on there, then I suggest coming onto your back for a half bridge. If not, another camel. If you wanna cycle through a vinyasa, you can down dog it and cycle through. I'm just gonna come on my bottom and I'm gonna lower down, I'm gonna do a half bridge and then the offering is gonna be two wheels. So you don't have to do any of it. If there's something else you really wanted, please take it, otherwise ripple down, Half bridge up, roll your shoulders, your front of your shoulders toward your outside arms. Oh yeah, friends, lift your pelvis. I hope you feel something, nothing, everything, rinsing from the head, through the neck, through the shoulders, through the wrists. Oh, hips up, hips up, hips up. And then ripple and come down. Now your second one, you can interlace your fingers. Your second one, you can come into the wheel. Your second one, if you don't wanna do it, you could do figure four seated. So go, action of something, 
action of nothing, action of everything, hips up, interlacing fingers or hips up, hands under shoulders, and then blossom into an upward facing wheel or not. You may find you want it. You may find you do not. I do not know what you will find. When you come down, come down. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. If you would like Supta Baddha Konasana, take that. Otherwise, friends, we have one more and we're gonna go for it. So, hum, satnam, I am lifting pelvis, half bridge with your left thumb leading and your fingers interlaced. Wheel, hands under shoulders, lifting because your chest is open, lifting your pelvis, lifting onto your tiptoes, maybe lifting a leg, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know what's right for you. And then coming down. When you come down, feet apart, knees together. Oh, thank you, body, hand, heart, hand, belly. Hand, heart, hand, belly, thank you, body. Maybe I'm gonna do this, articulate your pelvis forward and back a little. We're gonna do our sweet set of core. It's gonna be a fun one today. And that'll lead us to Shavasana, okay? So, hum, satnam I am. Okay, now listen, curl your head and shoulders up, turn your knees so they face the ceiling. We've done this before, left hand behind your head, right thumb touches outer ankle and then back. I'm up, I'm just doing a side and back. I call these parentheses, slot and side. Three more, three, come on, you can do it. Two, do it for your neighbor, whether they're visible or invisible, and one, and then switch sides. You cannot spot reduce. What do I mean by that? That's two, you have four more. This is considered a waste whittler, but there's no way to really waste whittle. So all we're doing is just strengthening these corset muscles, mostly so that our low back feels supported. Both hands behind your head, level pubic bone and navel. That means don't bear down. Curl up for six and down five, four, three, two, one. Now fold your right knee in, extend your left leg. If you just want to do a reclined twist, go ahead. Otherwise, we do bicycles or whatever you want to call these crisscross. We have four more each side. These to me are just as good as a twist, but if you want that twist, go ahead. Last two. And one, hug both knees in, take a putter of your lips, take a happy baby if you need it, if it's figure four that you need. Two breaths each side. And settle into Shavasana. Settle into Shavasana. If you need legs up the wall, if today all of a sudden you have a hunkering for a shoulder stand or a headstand, oh yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna roll my shoulder blades under my heart, thank my body, scan it to see if there's any residual tension. Remind myself that the balanced action is holding on just enough and letting go the right amount so that there is a sense in the body of flow and just the right amount of relaxation and engagement. That is the key to every fluid conversation in the mind and the body, in the heart space. Moderation. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nata Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Namiva Vashishyate Om Shanti Shanti
Shanti. Shanti. Eyes remain closed. Deep breath in through the nose. Deep breath out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the nose. If you want to stay longer in Shavasana, go ahead. If there's a reawakening, a wiggle of fingers and toes, of wrists and ankles, a rubbing of pads of feet and palms of hands, or if you're just enjoying where you are, extend all your kindness, all your goodness to every area of that matrix and blueprint of you. Nourish yourself with that and then be of service to others. Roll to your right, hug your knees in. Hands heart center and come up to seated. Intention, mantra, dedication, saturated within and without. Thank you for sharing this practice. Namaste.